Did you know that whenever you're working on equipment or you're sizing equipment or you're getting ready to install HVAC equipment, that when you order a two-ton, three-ton, four-ton, or five-ton unit, doesn't necessarily mean you're getting the cooling that you think you're getting. This video is brought to you by EWC Controls. Excellence without compromise. Save 8% off your order at truetechtools.com by using the Shop Talk discount code. You may be wondering what I'm talking about, but every system is different, and two different types of cooling occur in an air conditioning system. Sensible cooling and latent cooling. I like to think of it in a very simple way. Sensible cooling is the cooling that you can see on a thermostat. When it's 75 degrees inside and it goes down to 74, the sensible cooling has taken place. Latent cooling, you ever walk outside and see the water coming out of the drain? Getting the moisture out of the air, that's your latent cooling. Whenever you're dealing with an HVAC system, you have to understand that there are two different types of cooling. And when you size a system for X amount of latent cooling or sensible cooling, you need to make sure that the equipment you're choosing can actually do what you're asking it to do. Because every single system, every single combination, because manufacturers not only have one system, they have different combinations of systems, different combinations of coils and air conditioners, air handlers and heat pumps. There are all sorts of ways to put together a system. And every single one of them are different on how they handle sensible and latent cooling. Let's take a look at an example and hopefully you get an understanding of what I'm talking about. And we're looking at a GSZM4030 10A matched up with an AMST 30BU1400A. That's just a long model number for each of those. You don't have to remember those. That's just a combination we're looking at right here on the page right now. At the top of this particular chart, it says conditions, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's your indoor dry bulb, 67 degrees indoor wet bulb at 1070 CFM. So that's what the system is putting out, 1070 CFM. Those are the conditions inside, and that's a pretty common place right there to use those conditions whenever you're doing this sort of breakdown between sensible and latent cooling. Let's start right at the top. Has our outdoor temperature, total BTUs, sensible BTUs, latent BTUs, and total watts. For this particular discussion, we're going to ignore the watts part. We can talk about that at a different time. But we're going to talk about your total BTUs and then the breakdown. So right there at the top with this particular matchup at 75 degrees outside is 30,250 BTUs. Sensible BTUs at this particular matchup is going to put out, remembering that this changes from system to system. Maybe not drastically, but there are going to be subtle changes and then more drastic changes on certain systems. You get 22,700 sensible cooling BTUs and 7,550 latent BTUs. That's what this system can do under these conditions. The reason why this is important is because different parts of our country, there's going to be different conditions, and they're going to be drastically different. If you go to the desert southwest, you're not going to need very much latent cooling at all most of the time because it's so hot and dry. There's not the humidity issues that you have in my neighborhood, which is North Carolina, Right outside right now, it's early in the morning, it's 80 degrees, and it feels like the air is thick because it's so humid. We reach dew point every night. There's dew covering everything in my yard every morning, and it's going to be miserable from now until October outside during the day. So around my neck of the woods, we're going to need that latent cooling. And in certain locations, you may need even more latent cooling depending on what you're doing in the house. What if you do a whole lot of cooking all the time? You're boiling water all the time. You're going to need more latent cooling because you're putting all that water into the air compared to someone who doesn't cook at all. They get takeout every night. Conditions change quite a bit. So when you're sizing a system, you do a load calculation, manual J, manual N, or use an application. You do some kind of load calculation, and that load calculation is going to tell you how much of that latent cooling you need and how much of the sensible cooling you need. For example, one of the biggest things that adds latent cooling load around here is infiltration. Infiltration is air getting into your home from outside. It's uncontrolled. There's controlled infiltration, like when you have an ERV bringing air in, you're exchanging energy. If you don't have any means of bringing air into your house and treating it, then you'll get uncontrolled infiltration. Every time you turn the bath fan on, every time you turn the dryer on, you're depressurizing your house, and then air comes in through every crack, every crevice it can find to equalize that pressure with the outside pressure. 
the air coming into your house is hot, in my case, full of humidity. It adds a huge latent load. And if it goes beyond the latent load that your system can control, per this chart, 7,550 at 75 degrees, and it drops all the way down to 6,300 when you get up to 115 degrees outside. Not pretty common, but it is common to have right there in the middle of the chart, 95 degrees. If you go beyond that point and you have more latent load in your house than your system can allow, even though your total load may be lower, and that's a trick to it. Your load may be lower, but it may be not proportioned in the same way that the system can treat it. You run into issues. That's why equipment selection is very important. Someone who actually looks at this stuff before the job and says, you know, this system can't handle just our sensible and latent split. Something to think about. Food for thought, guys. What do you think? Do you think about these things? Put it in the comments. Take one second out there to like this video if you enjoyed it. I appreciate that very much. I'll see you really, really soon. And God bless each and every one of you. Because I'm a tech. I'm an HVAC man. You say office jobs await.